wall. Monument. Trail. Have officially started the PCT. Pretty crazy to finally be out here. Some of you might not know, but I am actually starting with a friend. That's this gentleman up here. That is James. That is my best friend going way back. He's gonna hike the first handful of days with me. Um, pretty much hike as far as he can in the time that he has, so yeah. A little bit of company to begin with. Um, always good, but it's great to finally be on the trail. So, you know, to be super cliche, only 2,640 point eight miles to go. <laughs> really cliche. There'll be a lot of that cheesiness. So the first handful of miles, six miles, actually been pretty uh, enjoyable. It's a lot less deserty than what I planned on. It's uh, really nice. I mean, it's obviously still desert, it's still hot, it's still dry, but it's beautiful, beautiful view of this. We made it down to Lake Marina, the uh, Lake Marina in the background there and uh, we went down to the convenience store because there's a little convenience store here and they had ice cold Gatorade and they also had pizza so I know it's only day one but I didn't get pizza last night before the start of the trail so I uh, went ahead and got me a little bit of pizza and then brought it back here and uh, shared it with a bunch of other hikers James is actually getting off the trail tomorrow he was just out here for one day um, one or two days, he decided today that he just wanted to make it one. Just really out here to kind of take off with me and then that was it. So he's not much of a hiker, but he held in pretty good today. He out hiked me a little bit. So we're just gonna hang out with some hikers tonight here in the campground. Get up tomorrow morning bright and early and start hiking. It's day two of the PCT. Had a pretty great sleep last night. 20 miles in the first day definitely put me to sleep. <laughs> I met a fine young Polish gentleman um, and he watches the videos, which is pretty awesome. And uh, he actually interviewed me this morning. <laughs> He's gonna start his own videos. So I bestowed on him the trail name of 60 minutes because his plan is to kind of interview hikers up and down the trail thinking about probably cruising in another 20 today maybe 22 i think there's a water spot at like 22 so i might be getting to that instead finally found a uh, a good natural water source this is the end of another day of the pct here at Mount Laguna. Another 20 miles today, so I'm sitting at 42, I believe, 40 or 42. Um, just got done cold soaking me some cold soaked goodness. Uh, got some couscous and some beans, some peppers and some taco seasoning. And I'm gonna throw some tuna in here and call it done. I uh, don't know exactly what I'm pushing tomorrow, but today was pretty good. It's a bit windy out today. <laughs> so it is day three. Um, I didn't film a little earlier because we were going over some big ridges that it was super windy. So uh, I figured you guys couldn't hear me anyways. But already about six miles in for the day. Just uh, stopped at a water spigot to grab some water. And yeah, gonna keep on cruising for the day and don't really know where I'm gonna end up tonight, but cruising with this feller back here. 
Mr. Nobody, <laughs> keep on cruising. It is about one o'clock and we're at about mile 15 for the day. I've been walking kind of out in the open, really exposed for a while. Awesome view, but started getting a little warm. So we uh, found a little nice shady spot here under a tree and it's time to take a siesta and eat a little bit of food. And we should only have like 15 more for, the, or 15 more, <laughs> five more for the day. Um, 15 if we're feeling tough. <laughs> Is the end of day three. Uh, just made camp a little bit ago. Today ended up being a 22 mile day, which is pretty decent. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get up and have a short 12 mile hike into uh, Juliana and resupply and take a shower because I stink. About to hit the hay because I'm pretty tired. So, we'll see what tomorrow brings on the trail. It is day four. Uh, woke up this morning with a really good night's sleep last night. And it's about 13 miles into Julian, not Juliana. I misspoke last night, I was kinda tired. Getting the start out to the morning. We think that it's a 13 mile stretch without water. So, scissors crossing, which is the way to get into Julian, might be the first water, which I guess isn't too bad since we're going into Julian, but still 13 miles with a liter and a half, a little over a liter and a half. Should be interesting. There might be a water source not too far up the trail, but uh, we're not a hundred percent on that. So, but yeah, great morning, beautiful day on the trail again from the PCT. So, ended the day to day at mile 77 at Scissors Crossing. Um, and we were gonna hitch into Julian, but Snuggles is actually out here doing trail magic and giving uh, hikers rides into Julian before she completely leaves and goes off on her own adventure. So she brought us into Julian and we went to Carmen's, the famous Carmen's and ate a burger and hung out with some other hiker trash and we went and got some free pie at mom's and now we're just down the street from Julian in this campground uh, we're gonna get a shower tonight uh, it's me and Foxtrot you can probably see behind me right there and uh, Racer X who was formerly known as Mr. Nobody he is now Racer X so it's us three and Snuggles because she drove us down here and we're gonna camp for tonight, get up in the morning and then hit the trail again. Scissor crossing. Look at all that water. It is uh, day five out here on the Grand Pacific Crest Trail. Just got done climbing out of Scissors Crossing. Last night we stayed in Julian at a campground. A little bit of a late start and uh, one hell of a climb out of scissors. We're gonna try to shoot for a 24 mile day today and get to mile 100, well, a little over mile 100 of the trail. Um, at a place called Barrel Springs. There's a 14 mile water carry right now, which is decent. I have three liters, so feel okay about that. I don't drink a lot during the day. And then after that water cache at the 14 mile mark, it's nine miles until Barrel Springs. So I think that's where we're camping, Barrel Springs. So yippee on getting, well I don't want to say yippee yet because we 
haven't done it yet, but high hopes on getting to mile 100 today. Feels good to hit that first 100. Camped right up the way a little bit last night, right down here in the parking lot next to the place that we camped with some pretty awesome trail magic. Uh, dinner last night of chili dogs and breakfast burritos this morning. And uh, this man here, what, uh, what is your name, sir? Where are you from? And why the hell do you want to feed uh, stinky hikers? <laughs> Rich Aaron is my name. I live in San Marcos, just over the hill, about 30 miles from here. And uh, I got the same kind of care and feeding when I tried to do it the first time. So nice. I figured I'm gonna give it back. Plus nice. I can't go this year, so all the money I saved to hike this year, I'm spending on food for you guys. <laughs> it's greatly appreciated, sir. Oh, I, I get more fun out of this than you do. Trust I don't know. <laughs> Trust me. Well, you Breakfast get to do burritos walking, and chili though. dogs, that's true. <laughs> you get to do the walking. I just, this is a blast. The stories are awesome. It's been a pretty awesome change of scenery this morning. Big, nice, open, grassy fields. Eagle Rock, which you can't beat. They we're still trying to decide if it looks more like an eagle or a dragon. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, not too far from Warner Springs. Should be there within the next month. We made it to the infamous uh, Warner Springs. Ooh, we're here. Ooh -wee. What are you doing here, Foxfoot? Oh, we're uh, fixing a blister, I like your style. Doing a little minor surgery? Yep. Yep. There it is. A little juice coming oh, out. Yeah. Ain't no thing. So we hung out in Warner Springs for a little bit, checked out some fellow hiker trash, had a little bite to eat at the golf course. Now we're uh, trudging on back in the desert. One thing that's definitely different about this trail than any other ones is, you know, around 1, 2 p.m. It just gets miserably hot outside. We found a camp spot last night, so we cowboy camped up here on this ridge. Beautiful, clear night, not too windy, not too cold, a lot of stars. Today makes a week, this is day seven. Couldn't imagine a better day out here on the trail. Thank you to whoever brought this out here and set this up. You are awesome. Woo! We made it to the end of the day after 24 miles still rolling with Racer X and Foxtrot. Pretty hard day, pretty nasty and hot, really deserty, but overall pretty good day. 24 miles, uh, we found a small campsite and we're about two miles away from the infamous uh, Paradise Cafe. So I think we're gonna get up in the morning, we're gonna hit that and then figure out kind of what route that we wanna take to get into Idlewild. So there's a fire about four years ago there's a massive fire closure and there's multiple reroutes to get you down into Idlewild so we're still trying to figure out which reroute that we're going to take uh, to be able to get the most mileage on the PCT so this is one thing that I was kind of always concerned about hiking the trail is kind of how to figure out those reroutes and what the best way to do it was without skipping mileage so it'll be interesting in the morning. 